How did Leah Michelle get her role in Funny Girl? Haters think she stole it by getting another actress fired. How many panic sacrifices did Leah Michelle go through for this? Leah unexpectedly took over the lead in the Broadway run of Funny Girl. And instead of congratulating her, onlookers were furious. Because a short while ago, Leah was considered Hollywood's most hated celeb. So how did the actress earn this bad reputation? And was Leah's Broadway casting really unfair? Leah Michelle was branded toxic, a bully, and even racist. In fact, many of her colleagues have painful proof for that. Her former Glee co-star Samantha Ware shared a tweet that shook the internet. Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? I believe you told everyone you would shit on my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Ware's tweet started a trend because she wasn't the only person Leah has hurt. Many Hollywood celebs shared their traumatizing experiences with the actress. Glee actress Heather Morris explained. Was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. For Leah to treat others with the disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. Heather got her wish. Leah was absolutely called out. Other cast members had similar experiences as revealed by Amber Riley. There were a lot of black actors and a a actresses that um, were in my inbox telling me their stories. They have dealt with the same things, being on set and terrorized by the white girl. All the Glee alums offered more ugly details about Michelle's treatment. Debbie O'Snell tweeted, Girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. John T. Godlock added that Leah had an ugly nickname for supporting cast members. Did somebody say cockroaches? Because that's what she used to refer to the background actors on the set of Glee. Once these admissions started, the hate kept coming. And not just from people involved in Glee. Gerard Canonico, who worked with Leah on Broadway, called her rude and unpleasant. You were nothing but a nightmare to me and fellow understudy cast members. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. Transmodel Plastic Martyr, who met Leah at the Emmy Awards one year, shared that sentiment. Because just one minute in her presence made Plastic feel ashamed. I was still in the process of my transition. I was in the bathroom and started washing my hands and she goes, Excuse me, you… you realize you're in the women's bathroom. But this kind of bad behavior was not new. The actress has been a tyrant for years. Broadway acting coach Elizabeth Aldrich first met Leah when the actress was a pre-teen. And the young girl did not make a good impression. She was absolutely awful to me and the ensemble. She demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any way displeased. She was 12. It's no wonder Hollywood has branded Leah Michelle as toxic. Of course, the actress tried to make amends. I have never judged others by their background or color of their skin. I apologize for my behavior and any pain which I have caused. However, Leah's detractors didn't buy this. They think she only wrote this post to save her career, because she lost a bunch of sponsorship deals and was dropped from a few roles. So when Leah got the Broadway role, it caused speculation. You see, the contract of the original lead, Beanie Feldstein, was still in place for a few months. Leah took over way sooner than anyone expected. Now netizens want to know just how that happened. The role of Fanny Bryce is Leah's literal dream part. She's wanted it her whole life. Michelle auditioned for it for six years while starring in Glee. During the show's run, she sang 13 songs from the play, including the main solo. Still, Leah's past actions have made her a seriously unattractive option for a leading lady. And now people believe she had her competitor fired to get the role. As one user put it, I'm really starting to believe that tweet about Lee making a deal with the devil. But the truth is, there's nothing dodgy about the role change. Fanny was recast because Beanie couldn't cope with the part. The actress got coronavirus and was out for several performances. And when she came back, critics were not impressed. 
there's a proof. Ticket sales were embarrassingly low. And for the first time ever, Funny Girl wasn't nominated for a Tony Award. In the past, the play received loads of nominations. Reviewers summed it up well. If Beanie had been able to keep the audiences in their seats, she'd still have a job. But since Leah took over, Funny Girl has been getting amazing reviews. As New York Theatre put it, the verdict is in, Leah Michelle is a stupendous Fanny Bryce. She makes Funny Girl worth watching again. So there's no doubt that the actress is a hard worker who saved the show and earned her success. Which is why she's been showered with love at premieres. And it's not just fans who adore Leah. Take Drew Barrymore's word for it. The girl Leah Michelle stepped onto this stage for the first time as Fanny Bryce and received not one, not two, but six standing ovations. Well deserved. Leah has many other famous cheerleaders, like her BFF Jonathan Groff and actress Jamie Lee Curtis. So now all that's left is for this actress to make the most of her dream role. What I do now with this is on me and how I handle this. But what do you think? Does Leah's talent make up for her past sins?